Hi, this is John Campus, founder and CEO of Empus. Today I want to talk to you about the ongoing threat of business email compromise. Business email compromise, or BEC, is a method of cybercrime in which an attacker obtains access to a business email account and imitates the true owner's identity. This is done with the goal of defrauding the company via its employees, customers, or partners. In some cases, an attacker may create an account with an email address that is almost identical to one that already exists on your network. Then they rely on the trust between the victim and the owner of the email account they are impersonating. According to statistical data from the Cybercrime Division of the FBI, business email compromise is a $26 billion scam. The report indicates that between June 2016 and July 2019, there were more than 150,000 incidents totaling more than $26 billion in exposed dollar loss globally. This means that BEC is now one of the most common forms of business targeted cybercrime. So what can be done to protect yourself? The FBI highlights several steps every business should take to defend against a BEC attack. First, implement multi-factor authentication or MFA on any accounts that support it. If you'd like more information on what multi-factor authentication is and why it's important, check out episode two of Coffee with Campus. Second, always double check the email address of the person you are communicating with to confirm they are who you think they are. Is their email address one letter off? Is it coming from a .NET domain instead of a .com? Cyber criminals depend on you overlooking these kinds of small details. Third, if you feel there is something suspicious about an email you have received, call the perceived sender via a known phone number to confirm they are the one who sent it. Do not call them using a phone number that is included in the email in question. Lastly, if you do find yourself as the victim of a BEC attack, notify the appropriate staff immediately so they can initiate your business's incident response plan. If it is not already part of the incident response plan, I strongly recommend filing a complaint with the FBI's Internet Crime Complaint Center. You can do this by visiting ic3.gov. The fact of the matter is, cybercrime is easier and more lucrative now than ever before. That doesn't mean you need to become another statistic, though. I believe the easiest and most effective way to defend against cybercrime is education. Educate your users and business partners on cybersecurity best practices and train them on how to spot scams. After all, they are your business's last line of defense against a cyber attack. Thank you.